In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the free FileMaker 10 database we created for all Macworld attendees to be used on the iPhone or the iPod Touch. This database, as you see, has two layouts and, and two separate tables, exhibitors and contacts. So let's go ahead and load this on the iPhone. Now since the FileMaker database is currently on my desktop, I'm going to need to add it to my iPhone. And I can use the iPhone to connect right to my computer. Now once it connects, it's going to ask for a database design report. And this is an XML file that's automatically generated from FileMaker Advanced, or we have a free online tool you can use. So let's go ahead and grab that. Now once the DDR is loaded, I can simply press Initialize, and that'll load the database. Now I can see the two layouts of the database. Now if I were to launch the database right now, it would be empty because we have to sync the database to the iPhone. So to do that, I just select Sync, connect to my computer, and now when I open the database, all of the data is there. Now I can choose multiple layouts, and as you can see I have a tab interface that lets me switch back and forth, and if I tap the phone field, an option is automatically appears to allow you to dial that number or send an SMS. Let's go back to my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and make some changes in the database. I'm going to change this over to Michael Petroff's information. And by the way, syncing works both ways. I could edit this information on the iPhone or iPod Touch and sync it with FileMaker and then update the database that way by syncing that way. For time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and make the changes right here in FileMaker and then I'm going to sync this information to my iPhone. Okay, all of that's entered. And let me go ahead and I'm going to change the picture to Michael's picture. You can see I stored that as a reference. You need to store the images as a reference. Just a little tidbit of information. Let's go ahead and open the database. And here it is in its current state in contacts with James' record in there. I'm going to go ahead and exit the database. I'm going to collect on sync, connect to my computer, and then simply sync. And now when I open the database, you'll see all of Michael Petroff's information in the database. And that's how easy it is.